All right, guys, what's the most important consideration when you're running an inside the waistband holster about getting to your pistol? clearing this garment. I'm gonna show you a couple different draw options. The first one I like to show you is what we call the thumb sucker. This one, we're gonna hook our finger underneath the bottom of our shirt and we're just gonna go ahead and put that finger right in our mouth. That's gonna go ahead and give us the option to be able to get directly to that pistol. Second one, kind of along the same lines, we're gonna go ahead and tuck our hand right underneath there and get a good pre-prep on that garment. We do exactly the same thing we just did. We're gonna pull that straight up to our chin, go ahead and get that great grip on our pistol do we need to do? Third one I'd like to show you today is going to be the wagon wheel, or we call the C or the wagon wheel draw. We're gonna go ahead and take this. We're gonna do the same exact thing we did with the first one, but we're gonna go ahead and make a big wagon wheel around that grip of that handle, that pistol. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Big swoop gets us to our pistol. We're gonna be able to grab that, do what we need to do. Last one I'd like to show. This one's kind of more of a hasty one where we wanna go ahead and get the pistol out as fast as possible. We don't have an option to get to it. These days, a lot of us are wearing or running some kind of an optic. All of those sit kind of in that same spot. And all we're gonna do is try to grab as much fabric as we can at that spot and just drag that straight to our chin. We wanna make sure that when we're doing that, we're grabbing low enough on the garment that we have enough shirt to get over it. If we go ahead and grab too high, we're gonna come up a little bit short. We're gonna whiff our draw there. All right, guys, now that we're all gassed up and ready to do some shooting, we're gonna go ahead and go over those four draw techniques that I showed you earlier. First one we're gonna start with is gonna go ahead and be that first little thumb sucker technique where we're gonna hook our thumb underneath our garment. We're just gonna pull that straight up to our mouth. We're gonna go ahead and get that. So we're gonna go ahead and hook our thumb, pull our garment straight to our mouth. That's the first one. Now we're gonna roll into this kind of the same thing, but we're gonna go ahead and just prep our garment by putting our fingers underneath there. We're gonna go ahead and pull that straight to our mouth, draw our pistol. So now I'm gonna do that same thing. Straight up. All right, that's number two. Now we're gonna roll into number three, which we call the wagon wheel. I like to use this one a lot if I'm running a bigger grip, maybe a mag extension, or maybe I got a couple shirts on. I got a hoodie and a t-shirt where I need to get, make sure that I'm getting around that grip. This one, we're gonna do that big wagon wheel. We're gonna get at it. So here we go. We're gonna go wagon wheel, and then we're gonna shoot them in the face. That's the wagon wheel. Now we're gonna roll into the last one. This is a little more hasty. Let's say we need to get the gun out as fast as possible. All we're gonna do is take a big chunk of that fabric and rip that thing up as high as we can. We do wanna make sure that we don't grab too high or we're not gonna get enough shirt up to get to the pistol. We're gonna whiff that draw. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and grab our optic, pull it up, All right, guys, that's the four techniques I showed you. Remember, if you're a concealed carrier, you gotta hold yourself to a higher standard. Let's get out there and try it, but let's remember, let's keep every rep deliberate and gradually work that speed up from slow to fast. I'm Scott with HST Training Team, and I'll see you on the next one.